Hi there, I'm Amanda Cromho from Truth. Welcome to the Blind Loyalty Challenge. We interview world experts in loyalty blindly. We're hoping to create insight, spontaneity, and a lot of fun through the challenge. The challenge is about promoting the Blind Loyalty Trust and my book called Blind Loyalty, 101 Loyalty Concepts Radically Simplified. All profits from the book go towards the trust. We hope you enjoy the Blind Loyalty Challenge. So today, Surrey and myself connect. Surrey Singh, he's head of CRM and loyalty for Enoch, and that's the Yes Rewards program in the UAE. I don't think he needs any introduction to the world of loyalty, but he was tagged by Bart from Uvic. So if you're not happy to be here, Surrey, you can shout at Bart. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Amanda. I'm oh, very happy to be here. It's always a great, great, great time talking to you. Oh, lovely. And actually, I had a big laugh today because we released the Blind Loyalty ch Challenge for Shyam Shah from Loyalty Juggernaut. And he finished off saying, great, I can tick this off my bucket list. <laughs> so <laughs> the Blind Loyalty Challenge has reached bucket list status. So off we go. So question number one, chapter 68 in Blind Loyalty talks about fuel rewards something you obviously know lots and lots about, so I'm starting you off nice and easy. What would you say is the best innovation you've seen in fuel rewards? So, I mean, uh, there's a lot There's a lot happening uh, when the fuel is concerned, but uh, one of the biggest, I mean, okay, what comes to mind when you're saying the best innovation that we've seen? Uh, I think the fact that today for fuel, you were able to earn instantly. Instant earn and burn in fuel was always a challenge. And um, that is something that has now kind of uh, fallen in place with uh, the advent of technology. And for us, although, you know, for as simple and basic as it may sound, mm -hmm. uh, I think this has brought about an immense amount of data in the fuel industry and uh, allowed a lot of the fuel businesses to kind of now start offering real-time rewards yeah and uh, this this thing this thing kind of happened in the past it was uh, you know it was legacy the, this technology was legacy and fuel as an industry you know has not been at the forefront of tech so yeah, that for me and i think as you say it's real-time rewards but just the whole customer experience improvement in that process so as basic as it sounds, I can see how massively impactful and innovative it is. So nice, a great example. Okay, so maybe we move off the easy stuff. So chapter 58 talks about points expiry. What are your views on expiring points? So, I mean, uh, Amanda, I have two, two, two hats to wear. And uh, when I wear the customer hat, I would say points ideally should, I mean, the, the, the whole case of points expiry is not ideal from a consumer standpoint. Uh, but at the same time, when you look at it from a financial hat and, you know, when you're talking to your financial teams, uh, they, of course, don't want to hold indefinite liabilities. And, it, yeah. you know, I mean, to be fair to them, it is, it is, it is a problem to manage. Now, uh, the ideal scenario is giving the customer enough and more opportunity to kind of redeem their points either within your network. Yeah. And if, 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 if that's not just, you know, and not, not an option alone, you'd need to have enough, many more partners that you can get on board to kind of uh, allow them to redeem. And uh, you will of course have uh, a certain number of points that you might end up expiring at the end of the year. And yes, I know programs look at it as income booked, but I don't see it as the healthiest income. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, a good mix of uh, earn and burn. But at the end of the day, you know, we are all a commercial pro. Uh, we are all commercial programs and we do have financial goals. Um, so, yes, it, it, it does happen. But I, it is, I mean, from a customer standpoint, I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, you know, and it, all of us as loyalty practitioners have to continuously marry the two, right? Consumer, uh, consumer experience with the commercial output. Without the the two balancing somewhere in the middle, neither is going to work. So totally, it's one of the, I think points expiry for me is one of those great debates that actually really touches that debate around consumer versus or aligned to commercial KPIs. So 
my last question here is um, a question I have actually asked a few times. So if you've watched a few Blind Loyalty Challenge, this might be super easy. But I ask it because I absolutely love hearing the answers. So apart from Blind Loyalty, which you very, very, very um, beautifully said you started reading. So hopefully it's a good read. But apart from Blind Loyalty, what's your favorite business book? So, I mean, I re uh, like reading articles, or let's say, from D Drayton uh, direct marketing. Um, I'll get, I, I was, I was fortunate enough to work with Ogilvy and Meta where we were, you know, sort of ambassadors of communication and direct marketing and, uh, advertising. And, uh, I mean, I have constantly in, I, I make it a point to read, uh, a lot of Drayton Bird, uh, material and, um, uh, you know, right from whether it is about how you talk to the customer, long copy versus short copy and all of that. So that's sort of been my go-to when it's come to kind of uh, direct communication mm -hmm. or direct Perfect. marketing. And that's what I'm actually, why I'm asking this, this question quite frequently is A, I've always got a really fabulous answer about a brilliant book that I've typically gone, typically gone out and stocked. But secondly, more and more responses from folks doing the Blind Loyalty Challenge are do, saying what you're saying, either resources that aren't a published book or podcasts that are really adding value to their business life. So shows how the world's moved on from traditional publishing. I guess, no, you're right, because I think a lot of the the books that you get are uh, legacy focused as to how the industry was in the past and uh, with with podcasts coming in and with you know kind of the articles now you get to read i think it's a lot more relevant to what's happening today in the market yeah and yeah and it's i think shorter bites apart from blind loyalty which is short short apart, bites 101 apart, apart from blind loyalty <laughs> i think corrected <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sorry. So you know that the last question is always predictable. It's not the fourth question. It's just a, who would you like to tag for me to chat to on the Blind Loyalty Challenge? I would like to tag Nida Nas from Arshaya. I think you've Good. met her and uh, the program has been doing phenomenally well. And I think it'll be good to hear all the interesting things she's doing. Yeah, fabulous. Great. Lovely tag. I look forward to that one. Sorry, thank you so much. You're an absolute superstar and you breeze through it. Nothing stressed you out. I don't think your heart went over your resting heart rate there. So we'll have to try harder next time. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Amanda. Always a pleasure speaking to you. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Bye.